Hey everyone, now that you've learned a little bit of HTML, CSS, and you've become dangerous, you know how to put a page together, and now that you've also learned, if you're taking this as part of the class, um, how to use Tableau, no reason not to show you one more very simple and powerful technique, how to put a live Tableau dashboard just like the one you made in Tableau Desktop on the web. So here's how you do it. You're going to go to public.tableau.com. Now you're going to need to create a new account here that is separate from the one you already created to download Tableau. So uh, come here, I'm going to sign out. All right, you're going to hit sign in. You don't have an account, so you're going to click create one now for free. Go ahead and create your account. I'm going to let you pause the video or assume that you're going to pause it, create it, and then sign in. So assuming you've done that, I'm going to proceed now. Sign in. Cool, here's some past Tableau uh, charts and dashboards I put on Tableau Public. Leave this here for now. So let's go now to um, Tableau. Here we go. Uh, just for simplicity, I'm going to grab one of these um, existing sample workbooks. So uh, you may have created one. You can use that instead. I'm just going to use one of these. Is your country obese? Fantastic. We already know the answer to that one. So uh, what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to actually have to move my screen up so you can see my options up top. Okay, there we go. Hopefully you see these Tableau options here at the top now. Let me try one more time. There we go. What we want is this one, server. Okay, click server, uh, Tableau public, and we want to save this Tableau, whether it's a chart, doesn't matter if it's a story chart or a dashboard, we're going to save the Tableau public as, wait a sec, it's going to pop this thing up and say time for you to sign in. So with the account you just created, go ahead and sign in. Hopefully, let's see if I remember that right. Perfect. Okay. Then it's going to say save this to Tableau Public under what name? Um, obesity dashboard or whatever you want to call it. Save. And it's going to have to export your data to the web. Now, don't worry. You can hide this on Tableau Public if it's something sensitive. Typically, we'd only use this for something we don't mind sharing with people. But um, I'll show you here in a second. You'll have the option to hide it. All right, here we it opened up a web page for us on Tableau Public. I'm going to scroll down here. You see it, it's live just like it was in uh, Tableau Desktop here on the web. And here's my other options, uh, corrections with diet exercise, interesting. Anyway, we have more options down here. I'm going to click Edit Details, and I can rename it online, um, give it a description, and I can also say... By default, this is unchecked. Allow workbook and its data to be downloaded by others. So other people can, I have to correct what I said earlier, other people can see this once you put it on Tableau Public, but they can't download the Tableau desktop file or the data unless you check this. So I'm going to leave that unchecked. Cancel. What we want now is the code that comes right here when you click on Share. So there's this embed code. You should know what div and class means by now even ID. I'm going to click in here and it selects everything and I'm going to Command C or Control C depending on if you're a Mac or PC. Leave that stored in memory. Now let's go to brackets. Okay, here we go. This is all my leftover stuff from the last video. Let's close all this out. All right. If you are doing the exam or project, did I make a Tableau? Oh, I'm looking in the wrong folder. All right. Right here in HTML, I'm going to make a new file. Tab.html for my Tableau page. Let's go ahead and put in our HTML tags, the stuff we know we need. Of course, since this is HTML5, remember that HTML head and body aren't actually necessary, but we use them anyway, just uh, so you know and recognize what they are when you see them. They're still all over the web. Uh, Tableau, let's give this one a name or title. Uh, uh, dashboard demo. Let's not forget our doc type. Okay. Let's make a body. All right. Um, let's give this a nice title. I don't want anything too big. H5 will do. This is my super awesome Tableau dashboard online. 
Okay, couple line breaks automatically added. All I'm going to do now is Command V or Control V. So let's take a look at what we just pasted. This is all of the stuff that was a moment ago right here in this embed code. So it puts a div in here. You know what a div is. It's a section. It's got a class that's defined somewhere. Where is it defined? Well, just look further down here. It's all in here. We can leave it just like this because, of course, CSS and HTML ignore white space. Or you are welcome to break it out and make it nice and neat. Now, you don't know what this NoScript tag is, but don't worry about it. Image. Now, there's our close a object parameter parameter. Feel free to skip ahead if you don't want to have to sit here and watch me do all this stuff. This is not terribly important. Whoops. This is just me trying to make things readable a bit. Okay, so uh, hopefully you didn't watch me do all that and you skipped ahead or something. Let's take a look at what we've done here. We've got a div from here to here with a couple of tags inside of it. No script and object. We haven't gone over those. Don't worry about it though. You're welcome to look them up. I'm not going to spend time going into it. But just a little more HTML with some IDs. And then down here we have this script tag we use to uh, add JavaScript. Now you're welcome to put this up in the head if you want, but it doesn't really matter. Script is fine anywhere actually. And um, if you know JavaScript, or if you go on and take other classes and learn it, you can see we create a couple of variables. Um, now, there is an option back here on this page to, there's ways we can do this differently. We can import or link to uh, JavaScript or jQuery files uh, that are external and not have quite so much code on this page. But eh, don't worry about it. This is good enough for now. All I want you to do is save it, and let's run the page or pull up the page. I'm just going to run it here from this little thing. A little previewer here this is my super awesome tableau dashboard online we wait a second for it to load and here we go a fully functional tableau dashboard just like you would have it inside of tableau desktop i can filter give it a second there we go there's just that area i can select just one state hmm, can't select that state's not in the midwest so let's go to West. Then let's look state. There we go. Cool. Everything I need. Um, because it's Tableau Public, though, it's going to include all of this stuff down here. Um, but that's it. That's how to put a live Tableau dashboard on a web page.